Capitec proudly sponsors this program. Rethink Credit. Realize dreams. Capitec. Hello South Africa and welcome to another edition of Win at Home live on SABC3. My name is Danilo Aquisto and I'm so excited to be with you this evening to see who's going to be our winner today and also finding out what's going to be happening with the world's most incredible designers live on television. This is the show where you stand a chance of winning a dream home at the Potterflay Lifestyle Estate in Somerset West developed by Baldwin Properties, giving you all the benefits of country living while being conveniently located near Cape Town, the Stellenbosch Wine, the Strand Golf Course and Beach, and Somerset Mall across the street. And if you've entered the grand prize competition over the past week, you also are eligible to be a weekly winner in our Capitec Open the Door giveaway, which is happening on later in the show. And here's what we've hidden behind the doors tonight. Tonight on Capitec Open the Door. You could win a mere showerhead from flush bathrooms worth 3,600 Rand a 5,000 Rand Valence voucher, or a 10% Sation Supreme Queen bed set from Venkasa, valued at 50,000 Rand. And on top of winning those amazing prizes, you will also get a chance to win a second time with Samsung, where tonight we're giving away the Samsung Galaxy Note 9 smartphone with Bluetooth remote, S Pen, AI camera, PC-like performance, and built-in decks with carbon sheet cooling. Now, then, if you're still a Capitec client as well, after all of that, you have a third chance to win by answering a simple question. If you answer it correctly, you win 5,000 Rand cash, which will literally instantly transfer into your account tonight. So it's sounding pretty awesome and I hope that you guys have entered the competition already. If you haven't yet done so, you still have until 7.45 p.m. tonight to be part of the giveaway. So head over to privateproperty.co.za right now and vote for your favorite design duo. Speaking of those duos, let's get back to them at the Part of a Lifestyle Estate now where it's almost time to kick off their new challenge. But first, here's a quick recap. Last time on Winner Home. After being tasked with their second double challenge in a row, the design duos worked themselves to the bone to complete their guest bathroom and master bathroom before deadline. <laughs> Sick! Yo, that looks nice. <laughs> the perma peeps brought in a lush element of greenery in the form of hanging plants and contrasted the living elements with reclaimed slate tiles to give both their bathrooms a cave-like feel. Wow, this is wow. beautiful. This is a great use of space for such a small area. It's lovely. Team Contrast Control brought playful colour into their spaces with custom wallpaper and a sense of elegance with large contrasting slabs of Caesar stone. Wow. This is I am very impressed. Team RNK went with two different personalities in each space. For the guest bathroom, they kept it clean, elegant, and minimalist, while in their master ensuite, they chose a vintage glam aesthetic. Oh, wow. Oh, this is very bright and light inside here, very elegant. I would be happy to invite any of my guests into there. In the end, it was Team Contrast Control that bowled the judges over with their bespoke design elements, taking the victory for the double bathroom challenge and a second in a row. Steeped in a rich history, Part of Lay Lifestyle Estate is conveniently located just outside the Cape Winelands and a stone's throw away from the ocean. And there's something for the animal lovers too. If we didn't already want our part of lay lifestyle estate apartment so badly already, now knowing you can literally just stroll across the road and go and engage an encounter with cheetahs at the cheetah sanctuary and a whole bunch of other animals, we're just like exploding with excitement. We love this place. Please, can we have an apartment? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, gorgeous. What are you doing? Oh yes. Oh my God. Enjoying the sun. All these small animals that we have here are here for education purposes, 
to educate people about the biodiversity we have in South Africa, what are threats to our farmers and what aren't threats to the farmers, and how they are all unfortunately coming under threat to lethal methods of predator control just because of their natural behaviours when they're roaming across the farm. We're about to head into the sanctuary now to meet the three little cheetahs. So excited, we can't wait to give them some cuddles and loves. Oh, we're just oh my too excited. One over there, one over there, like we showed you, one knee up, one knee down. Nice flat hand stroke. And now here I'm going to ask you just to stop there for her and not go further down. Hey, Kiara. So you can actually hear one of them is purring, Kibwe. Kibwe, we hear you happy baby. And so like a domestic cat, they do purr when they are happy. And it is a true purr, same as domestic cat. They purr in both the inhale and the exhale. There's okay. only three big cats that can do that. Your cheetah, your American mountain lion, and your snow leopard. Those cheetah cubs are just the sweetest things. And the purring, it's so deep, but so relaxed and just... It was just bliss. And they're so soft. And they're just so and the chilled. Heartbeat, you can feel it. It's so cute. Very <laughs> special experience. Oh my goodness, this is so special. I don't even think I would ever get like touch a cheetah. And now I'm touching oh. a cheetah. As awesome as it has been rejuvenating and getting some downtime, we have a site to get back to and challenges to face. I'd much rather stay here though. <laughs> It's a new week and time for a new challenge. We're about to find out our next challenge and the both of us are hoping it's not a double again. I am tired of doubleness that we keep doing. <laughs> I know there's two of us, but honestly. For the first time on Winter Home Season 5, you can all breathe the sigh of relief. This is not a double challenge. However, there's no time to be complacent because this is the most vital room in your apartments. Well, for the owner at least, because they'll be spending almost a third of their lives in this space. For the next two weeks, you'll be designing and decorating the master bedroom. The master. The master. The main thing about the main bedroom is that it's the main thing. It's the main bedroom. You, it's pressure. Pressure's on. To get things started, let's take a look at private property and see what the most popular listings are doing with the master bedroom. The master bedroom is the owner's sanctuary. It needs to exude an aura of relaxation and escape from the hustle and bustle of life. It may not have as many technical design elements as the bathrooms, but every corner of the space needs to be carefully considered. Now that you know your task, all that's left is to allocate you a mentor. For this challenge, we brought in an interior designer who is renowned for her bold use of colour and the quirky character she brings to the spaces she decorates. She is none other than Sarah Ord. Oh, Sarah. I'm Sarah Ord from Sarah Ord Interiors, also a part owner of The Stack, where we're standing right now. As you can see, I've got an absolute passion for beautiful things, old things, new things, and most especially colourful and quirky things, which is kind of how I landed up being interior designer and where we are today. The stack is a beautiful old manor house, essentially was once somebody's home, which we converted into a very colourful, open planned space. We wanted to create a space in Cape Town where you could have a fantastic meal, but also network, meet socially in a space that's a little bit quirky, has a sense of humour, but is open to the public as well, uh, as well as to private members upstairs. For me, the master bedroom is one of the most important spaces in the home. It really is where you find shelter from the storm, it's where you go to rest, rejuvenate. It's got to be comfortable, it's got to be luxurious, it's got to be appealing to all of the senses. And I think if they can get that right, they really do hit this one on the head. Now, I literally couldn't resist with a name like Sarah Ord. I hope that her, her advice to the design duos turns their sort of designs into extraordinary designs. 
anyway. Moving on swiftly, after the break, the duos will meet up with Sarah to discuss their plans for the master bedroom and how they intend to win this challenge. And if you want to be a winner tonight, you have until 7.45pm to enter the grand prize competition. Find that on privateproperty.co.za. That'll automatically enter you into the draw for the Capitec Open the Door giveaway later on in the show. Now remember, you can enter once per day. And if you've not uh, won tonight, perhaps, at the end of this season, you could still win one of the three fully decorated apartments at the Potterfly Lifestyle Estate in Somerset West. It's worth over 3 million rand. So use this ad break wisely and enter online right now. Search for a home on any device, anytime, anywhere. Private property, a home for everyone. Welcome back to Part of Play Lifestyle Estate in Somerset West, developed by Bowen Properties. Now, designing and decorating a master bedroom is no easy feat. And while our design duos are hard at work, they're very lucky to be able to draw from the knowledge of their mentor. The master bedroom is a very important space in the home, we feel. You know, it's somewhere where one needs to be able to decompress after the day and all the hustle and bustle of life. So, yeah, we need to make sure that we design it as a very relaxing, comfortable space. So, this is the main bedroom. What's the plan? Yes, we're mulling over the criticism from our last challenge and looking at ways on how we can bring colour into this space. And what are your thoughts? We are planning on bringing in some pink, some pink velvet, and working along the lines of the plants on pink theme in this space. I like it, okay. So what, headboard, fabrics, um, curtaining? We, we're looking at curtaining at the moment for, for the pop of colour. Okay. So it's going to definitely be a more muted pink, not so much a hectic in your face, but more dirty, muddy, sort of off pink. Okay, so more unisex rather yeah, than just for girls. Yes. Okay. And the wow factor for the, us judges to look forward to, uh, have you got something planned? They we're going with a natural stone concrete finish on the doors, just to bring in a little bit of uniformity from there, as well as our concrete slab ceiling. So I like that, then it talks the same language. Yeah. Okay. And we'll also ourselves be custom making a lovely headboard for the space as well. Okay. The perma peeps have still got to get their heads around exactly what it is that they want to do and what's going to be their signature feature, but I think they've got to keep a clear sort of inclination about colour and texture, so that will probably get them through. Just bear in mind obviously what fabric you use for the headboard yes. because different textures respond in different ways depending on what application, but I look forward to seeing the end result. Thanks so much, we look forward to showing you. Cheers. Bye. Bye. <laughs> this is where the owner of this house sleeps. This is where they rest. This is where they dream. It's a big deal. So you have to make sure the ambiance is on key? We are actually looking at some ideas and just, you know, kind of coming up with our main core ideas for our master bedroom. Okay, yeah. tell me about it. Because we've got this niche over here in our master bedroom, we were thinking we'd create a mural like over there. It's one of our main collaborations. And then in the far corner over here, we were thinking maybe we could get a wound bag and yeah. upholster it and, you know, yeah. give it life. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. And then to frame out the wall, we want a bulkhead and have, you know, some down lights, you know, create a mood and ambiance. Like, area. Yeah, just frame the whole room, okay. yeah. but okay. not completely cover it, you know. Okay. Just... With a bulkhead, just be careful because it's not a huge space that you don't want to, you know, make it even smaller. Mm -hmm. The light should more glow in a bedroom. Um, um, and also because you're probably lying down a lot of the time, you're looking up into the light, yeah. so you don't want like spotlights. Oh, yeah. I mean, we're definitely going to take it into consideration, yeah. Yeah. Uh, especially because we want to frame out the, the curtain mm -hmm. and make it look like it's floating. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a definite brilliant win. idea. Yeah. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. I look forward to seeing it. Team R and Kate, mm -hmm. I think are needing to sort of come together on their thinking. They've got sort of disparate ideas, but um, they almost want to fit too much into one space. But I do think that they've got quite wild, wacky ideas. So I'm looking forward to seeing what that translates into. Originally with the master bedroom, we had thought of going like very neutral tones, very moody and dark, because we had brought a lot of color into the bathroom already. But now having found out that Sarah Ord is our mentor, we're gonna have to bring in a lot more color. Yeah, 
and it's not really changing our style. We were trying to change our style going moody with the bedroom, so now we're going to keep to what we like most, which is colour. What we have for now, um, doing something similar with the carpet like we did next door, uh, we just want to take it a little bit further up on the bed wall. Loving the colour. Oh, yeah. It's beautiful. Have you thought about what you're going to do with the window? We were thinking of going for something very custom, like in the guest bedroom. Okay, with the Caesar stone in the reveal. Yes. I like that, because that's your detail, really. Mm. Okay, and maybe look at a neat and tidy little roller blind um, that can either come from the bottom up or possibly just fit inside the top of the reveal. That really is your work of art. What's your thinking over here? We were thinking of having pitch black built-in covers over on this end. Okay, so you're going to lie in bed and look at cupboard doors, so you're going to have to put some design elements in there. Yes. Okay. Contrast control have obviously got it down in terms of the look and feel that they want to get across the entire apartment. They just need to be careful, I think, of their budgetary constraints because they're trying to fit a lot into one room at a time when they've still got to think of the whole apartment. Thanks Black so much guys. for the help. Thank Cheers. you so much. Cheers. Oh, and the design duos know what I'm going to say. All the ideas in the world are great. It's about execution, execution, execution. Uh, don't forget that the entries for tonight's Cappy Take Open the Door giveaway have officially closed, but you can now start entering for next week's draw by voting for your favorite des uh, design duo on privateproperty.co.za. And thanks so much for all the love on social media thus far using the hashtag WinnerHome. If you want to see your comments read out on uh, the show tonight, then make sure you send through those tweets as soon as possible. Uh, some of them that came through just in the last while was from Bay Mashilo, who said, The lifestyle, inspiration, education. Uh, I love the show. I am team contrast control. Hashtag WinnerHome home. William saying, come on Team RNK, make me an awesome master bedroom. Assuming you're going to win, right, William? And then Nirvana Spirit says, win at home, uh, Team RNK, remember, functionality, peace and calm. Really cool comments coming through and I think just reiterating what our guest judge and mentor for this challenge uh, was sharing with our design duo. So share your comments with us, hashtag win home. I'd love to see all those tweets come through. Now, for each challenge, the design duos have to work with a local artist or designer to create a unique wow piece for that particular particular room. And after the break, we'll meet these talented collaborators for the master bedroom, so stay with us. Get credit for the right reasons. Up to 250,000 Rand based on your need. Capitec. This is Winner Home, hosted at Part of Play Lifestyle Estate in Somerset West, developed by Baldwin Properties. For this season, our design duos must choose a key collaboration for every challenge. It must ensure that it's a custom design piece and adds value to the property. We are collaborating with Carol from Carol's Curtains, where she's going to assist us in making some beautiful curtains. We've got a lovely dirty pink velvet that we're using. And yeah, she's made those up for us and we're gonna have a little bit of experimenting fun with them, which she's always open to helping us with. Your curtains are ready, girls. Oh, let's see the big reveal. Want to see them? <laughs> Want to see them? Yes. Okay. Oh my goodness. Oh, wow. oh, they look so lovely. They feel divine. That movement, it's just, oh, we're going to have so much fun playing with this velvet. It's gorgeous. <laughs> Great. Now, knowing you girls, I know you're not going to just leave it there with plain old velvet. <laughs> You've got something up your sleeves, I'm sure. Well, that's what these are for. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so this looks like it's going to be messy. I think we need to take this outside. <laughs> People think curtains cost a fortune and they can, but they don't have to. If they're beautifully made, you can use inexpensive fabric. As long as it's decent quality, curtains don't have to cost an absolute fortune. I've worked with the girls before, personally, in their own homes, made curtains for them. They're fabulous to work with. They're great designers. They've got super ideas. We are hoping to actually dip dye the ends of these curtains in this black dye <laughs> to get a bit of an ombre effect going. <laughs> the reason we want to do this is just to bring in the slate from the bathroom, yeah. as well as a little bit of a play on all the black soot that we made from tiling those bathrooms. <laughs> <laughs> well, I love the concept, but I have to say, I don't think I've ever seen anybody dye in black dye a beautiful velvet curtain in my life. Well, there's a first time for everything, and we only have 
one shot at this, yeah. so <laughs> here goes nothing and everything. <laughs> So, so you need about another half an hour here? Yeah, it needs yeah. to soak a bit. Okay, so I think we need to go and have a cup of coffee. I think we should, Carol. We can leave her here to soak yeah, for half can, an hour. You can do your thing now. Okay. I know. Guys. <laughs> <laughs> All righty then, I guess I'll just stand here and wait for this diet to take. <laughs> How many sugars do you take? <laughs> Guys. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> For the main bedroom, we decided to collaborate with Emma Nose. I work on transparent fabrics um, and play with uh, sculpture and painting on a two-dimensional surface. Hi. 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 Wow, this is amazing. Good things. How are you? Hi. Hi. We have an idea for a massive, massive mural. We want that to be like the you know, talking piece in our master bedroom. For our master bedroom, we were thinking a mural, you know. We have this wall and we just want to fill it, you know, make it big, bold, very exciting. I mean, that's what we're about. <laughs> yeah, that's so true. And of course, we gravitated towards your work because what you do, I mean, it's, it's incredible. I mean, the colors you use, your palette is so feminine, yet so edgy and strong. Also abstract, like you do everything we want in one little canvas, only this time we want things to be much bigger. How big are we talking? It's gonna be big. 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 Really big. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just a bit concerned by the fact that we're talking about a mural. Mm -hmm. A mural is something that goes, a painting that goes straight onto a wall, so then you lose any transparency that I work with. Mm. So what I would suggest is we work on canvas made with Mel so that you get the different levels of depth. And to take it even a step further, let's not hang it directly onto the wall. We'll hang it away from the wall Great. with light shining onto it or even behind it. Oh, oh wow, exciting! I love the idea of having the canvas removed from the wall. It creates a nice 3D effect. Our biggest issue right now is how will this huge canvas get through our doors? It's very ambitious for the amount of time, but um, I'm going to play with the colour palette they've given me, but kind of give it a bit of an edgy, soft, at the same time, feel. The way to do it the size you want to is to break it into three manageable pieces. So we're going to do a triptych. Okay. So three equally sized pieces. So the focal area will be the middle piece. So we'll have most of the build up there, and then the rest of the space will be kind of broad colours. What are these? Well, these are my dry palettes, and they add the extra elements I play with oh, okay. near the end of a work, just to add that extra detail. Oh my god, that's so beautiful! <laughs> it's exciting! We are happy with what Emma is working on. We, I mean, we have great confidence in her execution. You know what? We just can't wait to see what this is all going to look like when we're done. Right? <laughs> we're going to leave you to it, Emma, and Brilliant. we're so excited. Yeah, it's going to be great. Meeting Candace in uh, Cork Bay, uh, always a treat to be down by the sea. The waves in sight. Good little town. I'm Candice Lawrence and I am the owner of Modern Gesture Designs and we design a lot of pendant lampshades and a few furniture pieces. Hey Candice. Hey, Candice. Hi. How are you doing? Good, thanks and yourself. Good, awesome, good. thanks. She does very woven kind of necklace pieces like and lampshades. African, African jewelry inspired light fittings mm -hmm. and... So we're gonna couple that with my abstract artwork which will be incorporated in the kind of huge lampshade that we're gonna plunk on the wall there. So basically I've taken a standing lamp and I'm turning it now into a pen for your guys' bedroom to mm. hang on either side of the bed. And then I was thinking for the main piece above the bed that we could do this on a really big scale. I was thinking of something of this size but a lot bigger. That would be amazing. Awesome. I think that's great also because we were looking for that grandeur kind of feel. So it's really gonna have that impact in that room. Cool, awesome. Would you guys like to see the piece? 
Yo, yes, yeah. please. My design style is a lot of storytelling. I feel that's very important in my pieces. And a lot of my work started off where I looked at conversations that people would have with each other and uh, body language. That was the inspiration behind Modern Gesture. Now I look at a lot of other cultures to inspire my designs. Uh, like the woven necklace and amshed is inspired by African jewelry. It's, it's, for me, it's just about the stories behind each piece and what makes it unique. Oh, wow. This looks amazing. Cool, I'm glad you guys are happy with it. These are the two patterns I was thinking that could work on such a big structure. One option is to go straight across from ring to ring, or we could crisscross in between two rings. What do you guys think about that? I really love this uh, straight one across. If we could maybe just kind of reduce the, the width over here and then maybe increase the size of the gap a bit so we can see a bit more of the, the blue coming through. Mm, mm, definitely. Okay. okay, cool. I also think it's going to be a lot stronger if we do it like that. Do you guys want to give it a try? I'm try my hand. Get him, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I'm not weaving that that thing. Uh, my, I felt like I had five five thumbs on either hand. Yo. Um, that's seriously going to take some time. It's really impressive work she does. I'm also glad you guys are leaving it to the experts. We have so many talented people in South Africa. Hope you guys are being inspired by all the design we have on Winner Home. Don't forget to use the hashtag Winner Home on social media. We'd love to be able to see your comments thus far. Now you've met the collaborators. Now, as you know, this season takes place at the beautiful Part of Play Lifestyle Estate in Somerset West, developed by Baldwin Properties. And if you would like a closer look at what they have to offer, the various types of units are available to view seven days a week from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. with an agent on site on Wednesdays, Saturdays, and then on Sundays between 2 p.m. and 6 p.m. For more information about the development and the show days, go to ballwin.co.za. That's B-A-L-W-I-N.co.za. Z-A. Now, with the mentor meetings done and the collaborations sorted, the next obvious step for the master bedroom is the item it all revolves around, right? The bed. But that's one thing that the duos don't have to worry about, as you'll see after the break. <laughs> Click and capture your ideas remotely from any angle with the Galaxy Note 9. Sketch, design and take notes using the S Pen and share them on your TV for everyone to see. Live a seamlessly connected life with the Samsung SmartThings app. Welcome back to Winner Home at Part of Play Lifestyle Estate in Somerset West, developed by Baldwin Properties. Thus far, we've seen the plans and the bespoke collaborations for their spaces, but the master bedroom would be incomplete without the most important item, the bed itself. And this year, we've brought in the best. Farmaline, the brand and the company, has been around for about 30 odd years, but uh, we've now specialized in the mattress again. We source from all around the world, uh, best in, in, in product category, and that's where our brands like Temper and Magniflex come from, different parts of, of the world. And they're some of the global leaders in their field of expertise in the mattress game. Temper mattresses were developed through a product that came out of NASA, which is a pressure absorbing viscoelastic material. And basically it uses your body temperature to find a neutral and uh, stress-free uh, sleep position. And that takes all the pressure off the joints, etc., while sleeping. These are very comfortable mattresses, and uh, this is the best way for me to illustrate that is through the number of repeat customers that we have. Pretty much everyone comes back to us for it, and uh, the easiest sell of, a, of one of these mattresses, as I said, the guys just phone us up and say, please deliver. Uh, that's, that's how comfortable they are. So basically, yeah, they're world-class leaders in support of mattresses, and yeah, we've, be, we've been doing them for quite a, a number of years, and so far, so good. So at the moment, we only supply our own retail stores. We find it's easier for us to control the customer service, et cetera, by doing it ourselves. And that model has worked well for us over the last couple of years. If you're looking for a good night's sleep, this is the only place to go. And uh, yeah, you won't be disappointed with temper in your house.
we are so engrossed in our inspiration search for our master bedroom that we almost forgot about our shopping session with our mentor. We are off to Valence this morning to visit with Sarah Ord. Uh, we currently are looking for side tables and some lighting fixtures for our master bedroom space. Okay, so let's get shopping. <laughs> We always have a great time walking around Radiance and experiencing their different products. I don't know if these are actually working. I, I saw a few that side. Let's go actually have a look. Let's Come. go get them. I don't know if they enjoyed us rearranging their showroom too much, but I mean, you have to see the stuff together. What are you supposed to do? <laughs> I think you've got a winner, huh? Yeah. I love the different textures, the stripe with the more organic form. There's nice play with the heights here, it's not too severe. Yep. It's playing, it's playing on the language between the two areas. I think yeah, we've got this. Got okay. Let's go. So, oh, oh snap. <laughs> <laughs> Thankfully, Wayland's delivers. Thank goodness. <laughs> All right, let's go do lighting, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> I love the sort of woven vibe going. This texture is so lovely. It's going to look awesome. And it fits perfectly within our budget. There you go. Yes. I think you're onto a winning streak. We love Sarah's choice in lighting. We feel that the woven textures and the mesh will tie in very nicely with the African aesthetic we're trying to get through in our master bedroom. Okay. Good luck, girls. I'll see you later. Thanks Perfect. so much. Thanks. Ciao. Bye. <laughs> Our side tables are sorted, our lighting is sorted. We, yeah, pretty successful shopping spree all round. We got to get back to sites, I guess. Of course, they would love a massive shopping spree. Share your thoughts on some of the items they found. Perhaps you love them and want them in your own apartment. Hashtag win a home. Share your thoughts on Twitter. Some of the tweets that have come through. Tinkerbell Sweet Love, cool name on Twitter, by the way, says Team RNK, let's knock it out of the park. We know you will. Hashtag win a home. Hashtag SABC3. Then Andre says, win a home. This week's challenge is kind of tough, but keep it clean, relaxing, and amazing, just as the master bedroom should be, right? And then the gentleman, i.e. Dulan Williams, says, wow, I I love Candice's designs and products. They are amazing. We showed you just before the uh, sort of interview page you now, showing you some of the incredible designs she does with um, sort of woven fabric. It's really beautiful. And then Miss Page says, contrast control, have some great ideas. Those lights are to die for. Hashtag win a home, win a home, contrast control. So thanks for all of those tweets. Keep them coming through. Hashtag win a home. Now after the break, it's time for Cappy Tech Open the Door. You better stay tuned. Don't take credit. Unexpected coming from a bank. But just think about it. Using credit to finance a flashy lifestyle to show that you've arrived won't help you live better. What's new today is old tomorrow, except for the debt that you still have to pay. But do take credit to renovate your home, buy a more reliable car, or pay for your children's education. If that's your goal, then Capitec will help you realize your dreams. Because living better starts when you get credit for the right reasons. Get credit for the right reasons. Up to 250,000 Rand based on your need. Capitec. Well, welcome back to Win a Home. We are live on SABC3 and it's your time to win. It's time for the Capitec Open the Door giveaway where we draw one lucky name from the past week's entries and that lucky contestant will get to choose one of the three doors and win whatever is behind it. Here's what's hidden behind the doors tonight. Tonight on Capitec Open the Door. You could win a mere showerhead from Flush Bathrooms worth 3,600 Rand, a 5,000 Rand Valence voucher, or a Temper Sensation Supreme Queen bed set from Venkasa valued at 50,000 Rand. How incredible is that? And it's as simple as voting for your favorite design duo on privateproperty.co.za. Now, here to open the door for us tonight, we have Mauritian Mintua, cash management agent from Capitec. Welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. Uh, it's an absolute pleasure. Have you been watching thus far? 
I have. Good. And apparently your daughter's watching you right now. She is. Want to say hi? Hi, Summer. <laughs> hi, Summer. It's good to have you part of the Winner Home Show on SABC3. And in other exciting news, apparently Capitex also won an award recently. Indeed. Best Bank in South Africa. Congratulations. That's Thank pretty you. cool. <laughs> yes. Very proud to be part of that team. Yeah. I mean, to be able to win awards like that, you must be doing something amazing. We're so glad to have them part of Winner Home this year. And so it's time for us to get Capitec, obviously the best bank in South Africa, to give you some amazing products. Prizes. So let's meet our lucky caller, Romitha Inderjeet uh, from Durban. Welcome to Winner Home. Hi, Dave. How are you? I'm good. How are you guys? I'm very good, thank you. So now the big question from my side is, how many times have you been voting? Um, many times. Good. Have you been voting every single day because you can vote once a day? Absolutely. Good stuff. Now, you've heard the prizes hidden behind the doors tonight. The big million dollar question, which was a million dollar question, is which door would you like to open? Is it going to be the red one, the white one, or the blue one? Mm -hmm. mm, I'll go for the red. The red door. Right, Mershon? Please open the red door for us. Yep. All right, let's see what you have won. Congratulations! You. you win yourself a mere shower head from Flush Bathrooms. It's worth 3,600 Rand. Wow, thank you. That's <laughs> exciting. Now you're going to get a nice clean shower after that one, so congrats for that. But that's not all. As one of our sponsors okay. for this season, Samsung is giving you the chance to win a second time. Would that be awesome? That's good. That's really good. Good. Then you're going to have to do something very simple for me. Answer one product-related question correctly from Samsung, and you'll walk away with a Galaxy Note 9 smartphone with PC-like performance oh. and built-in decks. It's the Bluetooth oh Smart S Pen. How cool. And it lets you press buttons to take control of your camera presentations uh, as well as your apps without even touching your phone. Does that sound amazing? Yes, I've been watching that show recently. Good. It's just Good. And then also on the back of the phone is pretty exciting. It's got a dual aperture camera as well. So you can take all those brilliant selfies of yourself. And it's got like an, a, a sort of stunning uh, sort of shot that you can take with the day or night. So now to win this prize, you've got to answer this question for me. Are you ready? Yep. Okay, what technology is used in the Galaxy Note 9 camera to capture low light images? Is it A, dual aperture, or B, Bluetooth? Um, Come on, think about it. Camera, uh, dual aperture A, or Bluetooth B? What technology is inside the camera? Dual aperture. Yes, yeah, so that's option number A. And Bluetooth, I would say. Is that your final answer? Yes. <laughs> it is correct. Congratulations. You win yourself the Samsung Galaxy Note 9 Thank you smartphone. So much. Now, listen, it doesn't end I'm there. Good. Well, okay. I'm, I don't want you to be too overwhelmed yet because there's another chance for you to be able to win. If you're a Capitec client and can answer a simple question correctly, you win 5,000 Rand cash instantly. So, are you a Capitec client? You know, I went today and I applied for that because of the show. And oh. it, it's not yet started out. <laughs> oh, no! Well, unfortunately, then we cannot give you the 5,000 Rand tonight. If you were a Capitec client, that, that transaction went through a little bit earlier. We could have given you 5,000 Rand, but it's not to worry at all because that amount is okay. going to now roll over to next week to the next week's winner. So you're paying it forward. Congrats. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. We love the show. Awesome. I'm looking forward to seeing some of your selfies and tagging winner home in those, all right? Okay. Congrats on your prizes. Thank you. Good night. And thank you so much, Marishan, for joining us tonight on Winner Home. It's been an absolute pleasure. Cool. And looking forward to seeing what happens with the design. It's that simple to win. Enter now on privateproperty.co.za. And you could be the le lucky caller on Capitec Open the Door next week. And remember, there's also the possibility of winning that grand prize. This is your chance to win the home you've always dreamed of. Enter the Winner Home competition by voting for your favorite design duo on privateproperty.co.za and stand a chance of winning a fully decorated apartment at Pardaflay Lifestyle Estate, developed by Baldwin Properties worth over 3 million rand. Plus, you'll automatically be entered into the weekly draw, where this coming Thursday night, you could walk away with the Samsung 55-inch Series 6 QLED TV with Infinity Design, 4K gaming, SmartThings app connection, and an ultra-high-definition plus picture. And if that's not enough, Capitec clients stand a chance to win a further 5,000 Rand in cash. Competition details plus T's and C's can be found on the private property website. Winner Home, every Thursday evening at 7.30 on SABC3. The stage is yours. 
The winning literally never ends on Win a Home live on SABC3. So get those votes in for your favorite design duo and li literally, simply like that, you can win yourself some amazing prizes right here on the show. Now let's head back to Potterflay to see what the duos have accomplished during their first week of the challenge. Perma peeps. It's the halfway mark and we're not on site at the moment. We have all of our staff ready and waiting to go, but we are just waiting for Cozy Homes to install all of our beautiful built-in cabinets before we can move all of our furniture in place. Oh. Okay, well it appears they're not here. Something is happening. I see the paint is on this side of the wall. It's a pretty cool color. I like what they're doing with this side. The only real question is going to be what they're gonna do with this side of the wall because the paint hasn't even gone on the side and they had big grand ideas for velvet curtains. There's gonna be some beautiful lighting in here. I've seen the valence has arrived outside. They always bring cool surprises. So my hope is wherever they are right now, they're making magic. This better be done on time. At this point, all of our painting has been done. We are currently waiting for our units to be finished being fabricated through Cozy Home. Once those are installed, we will then be able to get our final measurements for our DIY headboard we plan on making together on site. And then, yeah, we should be able to, once those cabinets are installed, put in all of our furniture and style and fluff. Don't worry, we'll get it done. <laughs> Sorry we missed you, Dan. Hope you didn't miss us too much. <laughs> For once, Dan pops in and I'm so chilled, doing some art, chilling. Can't believe I missed it. Yeah, but you were out getting stuff for the apartment, so... <laughs> Dude, what is this? So this is uh, the collaboration piece that I have with Modern Gesture. It is beautiful. I see you obviously working on these little peripheral pieces that are going to go up on the wall and make these statements in the room itself. But I mean, how's the overall structure looking? You guys are halfway through this challenge. We are. Uh, we're looking good, actually. So the paint just got on and we have carpet installations happening today. Because we ended up using carpets in our bedrooms, we've got a little bit of oggy left over. So we've had this really crazy idea to do so sugiban, which is like a burnt timber effect. Um, so we went and chatted to the guys at Oggy and we asked them if we could swap out our treated timber for pre-treated planks, so before they've treated them, and we're gonna blow torch the hell out of it. it. How cool? So cool. And that's basically gonna just bring a very moody feel in the room. And it's, and it's gonna kind of couple it out with a masculine kind of feel. And we're planning to have this pink carpet coming in. So it's gonna balance each other very well. So that contrast is gonna be controlled. Oh yeah. Where's your partner in crime? And is doing some other things. Mm -hmm. Am I allowed to know? Well, he's just fetching some mirrors and stuff. Ah, uh, okay, cool. Yeah, I'm just here finishing up this artwork. It looks so cool. I'm so excited to see that you guys have put the floor on the ceiling. It's looking awesome. I think the judges are going to love that. And it's still fit months. Yeah, I can see. Yeah, you guys have been walking on the ceilings in here. But I'm also dying to know whether it's going to be done on time. Do you, you, you seem pretty confident. Yeah, we are definitely going to be done on time. I think we have learned from our mistakes and our previous challenges, so... Good stuff. Well, keep, keep dotting, keep painting. I hope this collaboration comes out well and I'll catch up with you at the end line. Awesome. Good luck. Sweet. Uh, yeah, hopefully we're not too chilled. Uh, things have been going well this, this week and with a bit more planning ahead. But, uh, I mean, anything can happen, so... Yeah. Gotta Should keep, we be worried? Uh, just keep on our toes a bit. At this point, our bulkhead is in and our drywall is also in with our little feature wall behind our bed. I mean, at this point, we're excited about how things are coming together. The hard, dry things are done. I mean, it's all brown right now. We can't wait for a splash of colour to come through. Yeah. They still managed to do a neat... <laughs> <laughs> Hot Hot <cuts>. <laughs> <laughs> is a big bump. <laughs> Guys, I'm seeing some custom design elements for the first time. Woo! What do you mean? Yay! Oh, we're <laughs> so three challenges in, halfway through this one. Yeah. How's it going? Oh no, it's going well. You see our bucket is in and you know, we wanted to create a little mood, mm. right? So we just the electrician's gonna come in and do his thing, uh -huh. and it's gonna look amazing. Yeah, she got yeah. so excited. Yeah, it's pretty exciting, it's mm. pretty exciting. 
I mean, this area right here is like my favorite feature. This is where the mirror. Run, is. Out, of, run out of stuff for. Uh, oh no no just no. Just checking. No this no no. We, this is design, right. sir. We're gonna have a mirror that runs across all the way till the end. It's just a nice little component, and yeah. of course, we're gonna have an interesting piece over there. So that reflecting across. What's an interesting piece? Give us some ideas. Is it a secret? Think neural. Mm. Think 3D though. Way better than any artistic work you've seen in the last decade. <laughs> I like this. Yeah, we got some spices, honey. Those boys want a challenge. You guys are like, mm -mm -mm. we're coming for it. Who are those boys? We're doing well. Okay. So yesterday. <laughs> Right, so the big question always is, is this going to be done on time? How are you guys feeling about your time management? Is it better this round? I think we're good. Well, we need to put on some plants. Yeah, and we're good to know. go, Daniel. And a little splash of colour. Oh, yeah, there. put that teacup down and get back to work. <laughs> good luck, you guys. Bye. Thank you, bye. <laughs> Man, there are always so many laughs on that uh, sort of site, and I'm excited to see what those designs come out to be, but please, design contestants, get those things done on time. For once, please. <laughs> now, remember that you will have your pick of those master bedrooms. If you win the grand prize and get to choose which one of the three completed apartments you want to call your very own home, enter now by voting for your favorite design duo on privateproperty.co.za. And just to give you a reminder of how winning this apartment could literally change your life, let's take a look Look at what it did for our previous Winner Home winners. In season one of Winner Home, Josh Gloke walked away with a beautifully designed home at Stain City. Sure, I mean, the butterflies were there, I was super, super nervous. It took me a few seconds to realize what, what I'd actually won and what was actually in the safe. But when I did, I mean, it was an unreal feeling, absolutely incredible. Opening the front door to my first home, having a professionally interior designed home to start off with at, at 23 is it's absolutely incredible. I mean, I'm immensely blessed and lucky. The season two winner of an apartment at Ilala Views Estate in Umflanga Ridge was Kajal Siraj, a teacher from rural KZN. Oh my word, I can't believe it. I actually won this house. I'm overwhelmed. I'm excited. I'm anxious. I want to jump for joy. Oh my word, this is so amazing! Now that I've won this flat, it's completely changed my life. I've got a holiday home for my family and I, so we can visit whenever we want to. It's not paying for accommodation. And um, we can all get together and just come and just hang out and relax. Season 3 of Winner Home saw Palesa Moisi winning the apartment of her dreams at Valdivia Estate in the Western Cape. And still for a moment, I didn't, like my mind was somewhere else. It was just a few seconds. And then after I realized, hey, I need to take out my key and show it to everybody. <laughs> I just entered once. I didn't even know you win a house, hey? I just entered because I love the kitchen that Melinda was doing. And then I was just voting for the kitchen. And then I won. Then I have a home. <laughs> In the last season of Winner Home, it was Zintle Gorm who became the owner of a brand new home at the Eye of Africa Golf and Residential Estate in Johannesburg. I nearly collapsed. I was excited, overwhelmed at the same time, and I just couldn't believe it. And I think I almost fainted. It means a lot. We needed the home desperately, and it has changed our lives for the better. Now, I don't know what I enjoy more, knowing that we get to change lives like that or waiting for that reaction when they find out that their key is inside that safe. The amount of reactions and facial expressions we have seen have been just priceless. Thanks so much to everybody who's been entering and congratulations to all of our previous winners on Winner Home uh, on SABC3. Now, by entering the grand prize competition, you also automatically get entered into our weekly Capitec Open the Door giveaway. And a huge congratulations to Ramitha from Durban for winning the Mere Showerhead from Flush Bathrooms tonight. It it was worth 3,600 Rand. She also got herself the Samsung Galaxy Note 9 smartphone. And we've got some more amazing prizes hidden behind the doors next week. And if you enter now, one of these could be yours. Next week on Capitec Open the Door, you could win a 5,000 Rand Durham paint voucher, a Caesarstone Domino desk lamp designed by Dr. and Mrs. worth 12,000 Rand, or a 5,000 Rand Valence voucher. 
Now, the Sam then Samsung is also giving you another chance to win. And next week's prize is the Samsung 55-inch Series 6 QLED TV with Infinity Design, 4K Gaming, SmartThings App Connection, and Ultra High Definition Plus Picture. So you can see yourself in your full glory. And with tonight's additional Capitech prize not being won, if you're the lucky caller next week Thursday night and you're a Capitech client, you stand a chance of winning an additional 10,000 Rand. That's all happening next week, Thursday at 7.30 p.m. right here on SABC3. Thanks so much to everybody for tuning in to the show tonight. Uh, and for more design drama next week on Winner Home Live on SABC3, I guess we'll just see you then. Good night and God bless. Next week on Winner Home, it's part two of the Master Bedroom Challenge. Follow all the drama in the final moments as the design duos complete one of the most important spaces in the apartment. Will they master the master bedroom? Oh, uh, my word. <laughs> I know, right? Only the judges can decide their fate. Catch it all on Winner Home Thursdays at 7.30 p.m. on SABC3 with a repeat on Saturdays at 3 p.m. The stage is yours. Another feel-good production. Search for a home on any device, anytime, anywhere. Private property, a home for everyone.